All right. Follow the blood trail. Oh. Yeah. There's more guys. I like how I literally just slept where all my enemies are. Let's walk. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. God. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. A lead rod. Oh my god. Ew. Look at his arm. What is wrong with him? Oh, something is going on. Who's in here? Oh, I don't see anybody. It's more vampires. Oh, he's gonna kill him. I can't feel it. Pick this used scythe up. <laughs> two-handed weapons. Equip a two-handed weapon and press right-click to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an incoming attack, inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. All right. Well, I don't know what parry is. Give me a second. Sorry, I needed to grab a tissue. <laughs> All right, we could use the scythe. I'm guessing it wants me to use a scythe to fight William. So we'll see. How much damage does the scythe do? 99? Heck yeah, it's way better than my machete. How do I equip this sucker? Main hand, off hand. Uh, ultimate. Used scythe. <coughs> Equipping with a two handed weapon will unequip your off hand weapon. Okay. So I can equip this as my secondary weapon. How do I? Well, please, let go of me. Oh, it's Z. Let's change weapons. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. Well, let's see what we got here. This place reeks of bloodshed. William is not behaving himself. I can't even go into my vampire vision. Never harm you, Mr. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. That's William. Alright, let's back up. Let's back up. I keep wanting to use... William. I keep wanting to use my mouse to move around. But the mouse is just to like change enemies, so it's kind of like Dragon Age Origins. Move, move, move. Jeez Louise. So that check on the victim. So that was William. <laughs> 
Let's loot first. Lead rod. Okay, so that fight could have gone a little bit better. I almost died. Who, who are you? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, how do we know? The sound of my voice. I am. I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. Oh, I must fuck. return to my flock. They'll stray without me. He's growing weird stuff on him. Oh, I thought it was a guy. Are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Help me more, my lady. Come back. Get some weird crystal stuff oh, pulling or uh, growing out of them. They look like red lyrium. Patience, good fellows. I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take Wait, that care. guy didn't get bit? It'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. Oh, this guy's a bro. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. So I can... Oh, I can search his body, I bet. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. So it said I ended up picking up he, or some of his blood, so I don't know where that is. On Hampton. What does that mean? Oh, he has fatigue. Okay. It's like, that looks like a, a virus. <laughs> All right. We got a sample of his blood. We're gonna go on the steamboat. At dawn we row. Bring me home, doctor. <laughs> oh. Could you imagine having a boat like this to drive? I mean, it's actually kind of cool. I feel like hipsters would buy boats like Where this. Are we We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. He has a cross. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. You hmm. must learn more about her. As peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, 
A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Like a renowned I, surgeon. I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again. From a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Good, because you can still see the so, gunshot wound. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> it's a necessary friendship, not really beautiful. But alas... Ugh, my eyes get so watery. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. <sighs> Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. What? Woman, yes, what? I'll make a new rotor in the morning. <laughs> in the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. <laughs> oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. It's so ironic to be a doctor that specializes in blood, and we become a vampire. Oh, nice threads! How tall he is! If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Doctor Swansea. Immediately. Welcome Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Nurse Crane. There's no way that this is spare clothes from him. I oh, always like shaking his hand, shaking his hand. <laughs> Take me to a hospital. Analyze William Bishop's blood in the hospital. District status healthy. Nice. I need to get healthy. We're uh we're pretty low on health right now. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Apologies. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. This is crazy. My blood thirst. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. 
Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Medical checkup. Press F for details. He's healthy. Clay Cox. Uh, should I help him? Or should I drink his blood? I think I'm gonna be polite. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be a nice doctor. I'm not gonna go renegade. It's insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. Alright, alright. Sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Oh gosh, is it not even gonna give me the options to not drink his blood? I think I'm gonna end up drinking his blood. I mean, I need it. The blood quality indicates how much XP will you, you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. So he's got blood quality, like, mediocre. 500 XP. What? What are the... Oh, I can't see the details. Mesmerize. To drink blood of your prey, you must... Uh, you first need to mesmerize them to leave them out of sight from others. Your mesmerize level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press Q to mesmerize clay. Ooh! Alima! Oh. Fading light into the shadows. Dance with him, the dance. Follow the red trail to lead your prey into the shadows. Oh my god, that's creepy. Let's go, Clay. It's time to drink your blood. Blood temptation. Press left click to embrace Clay or spacebar to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. Yeah, I kind of want to keep him alive, because I feel like this is the first time that they've thrown someone to to us to drink their blood, and I feel like he might be pretty useful to the story. So, I think I'm going to keep him alive just to see what happens. Yeah, see, there's hints that I haven't unlocked, and I'm betting he's gonna have some shit for me, so I'm gonna release him. No more. Not tonight. First the not full not release. Like I will not take another life. I've already killed Mary. I like how he got stabbed and he just... Is he gonna die? Alright. He literally got stabbed. He was talking about bleeding out, and now he's just chilling on the floor. All right, Clay, you do you. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. I know I'm thirsty. I know. Great. Blowing over here. You handlebar, uh, handle parts. Oh, what happened? Uh, you need to go to the hospital, sir. So these big obtuse chests are where we want to pick up upgrades. We also need to think about how we're gonna heal ourselves. And I could press one. Take away from our blood. Let's unknown. Ooh, 
Good lord! Look at her, she is... something else. <laughs> I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here. She looks like a man. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected... Look at her side-eyeing me. You, you must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Hey, Gwyneth. Do a medical checkup. 2500 XP. Let's get to know her better. Let's see if we can get any hints. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible <laughs> enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. See. Oh, my mesmerize. Okay, so I have a level one memorize. Mesmerize, she's a level five. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone- I don't want to push her too yet. hard. I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Great, new hint available. Dr. Cochran... Uh, we're not going to push her. I'm not going to tell her to speak up. I don't know if that'll change anything. Yeah. Int required. So I'm not I'm not gonna push her. Exhausting himself and refuses to stop working. I, see, I thought he was gonna be a lot older. Goodbye, nurse. Call me. If, if you... only he were younger. All right, ma'am. Oh. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. She's frowning at me. Back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Oh, already? Thank you. Don't even tell me that there's going to be a plaque with yes, Jonathan's Dorothy name Ray. on it. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. I feel like they were saying his name differently early. Swansea? The Swansea? It's is right it just to me? Assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Right. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. 
poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction Second of my floor. <laughs> Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. <coughs> All right, thank you, Dorothy. Thank, thank you, Nurse Crane. Oh, Nurse Crane. Anybody else? Dr. Tippett's over there. There. And Clay. Just take a. Quick look around these little, all these sick people. I was gonna say, why wouldn't I drink out of their, or why wouldn't I drink their blood? I guess you wouldn't want to drink their blood. Not if they're sick. This. Stay at home. Influenza. Oh. Frequently complicated with pneumonia. To prevent any case of Spanish flu, stay at home. All right, let's see the map. What's this? Custom marker. Oh, what? How do I remove? Remove! There we go. Uh, hideout. Is this how big everything is? Like, the map isn't even really large. All right, before we go to the hospital, I want to... Should I check out this area? I feel like we should stay on task. I always end up getting sidetracked too, too much. Scour voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Is this the garden? Right? You wanna- I can't- you know what, I'm not gonna fight these guys yet. I know I should, but my blood is very low, or my health is very low, so... We'll save everyone in a little bit. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna take a quick break here. I need to go bring the dog out. And... I think I need to turn my heat on. It's really, really cold. So, I...